Hey, it's Donnie, and I've been gone a while, if you haven't noticed. For those of you who've been wondering about me, I'm doing good. Baby's doing good, and um, there was a little scare. I had to go to the emergency room, but since then, everything's been good. My OB put me on progesterone, and ever since then, things have been just boring, which is good. Um, things have been really hectic around here. Um, we had my daughter move back in for a little while and a couple days ago she got uh, her own place. So, um, school starts on Monday for her and her fiance and then my other daughter Stephanie. So then the house will be a little more quiet during the day except that I'm going to be watching my nephew, my four-year-old nephew, because my brother's going to school as well. So everyone's starting college. And, um, well, this is my actual 42-week post-op. I don't even know how many months that is, but I think I'm about six weeks away from my one year. And, well, because of things that have occurred with the pregnancy and my five-month stall, I'm definitely not where I wanted to be um, at this point, but I'm very happy that my husband and I have a chance to have a baby. And I know once the baby is born, we will, I will be getting back on to my, um, routines because frankly, I've not been following any rules except for the drinking part before and after meals. Um, and mainly I do that because I'm too full to drink anything. I eat and eat and eat and eat. And a lot of the time I do try to do proteins, but some of the time I just want whatever I want and my cravings are crazy. So chocolate's a big weakness for me. So I have chocolate just about every week, not every day. I'd like that, but no, I'm, you know, haven't gained a whole lot. Um, I think the last video I did, I was 265 and depending on the scale, on um, last week when I went to the doctor, I was 267, which was only a two pound gain in that month. So that's not what I wanted anyway, because normally when I've been pregnant, I've always lost weight, but this time it seems my appetite has been huge. I don't know if it's because my stomach just doesn't hold very much stuff at one time or what, but um, at first I was eating and eating and eating and I didn't gain anything, but then uh, the last couple of weeks I think I've put on uh, about five pounds. <coughs> Excuse me. So I don't, I don't. I don't want to put the weight on, you know, and they said that I should get um, up to 290 at the most by the time I deliver. So I'm not excited about getting that close to 300 pounds again. Um, but, you know, you do have to gain some weight, I guess. But I've never been this, you know, this low of weight when I've been pregnant before. So um, it's different. Um, I hit 300 pounds, I think a little over 300 pounds with my first daughter in the last month. So, and I only gained 20 pounds with her. So I was 280 to start with when I was pregnant with her. And frankly, I don't remember what I was with my second daughter, but when I got pregnant eight years ago and lost that baby at 23 weeks, I was actually 371 pounds. I'm surprised I got pregnant, really, honestly. And um, so things are a lot different. I mean, I definitely lost weight at that point. 
um, about 10 pounds. No, no, it was only about five pounds that I lost. So it wasn't significant, but I'm still not used to gaining versus losing, you know, I'm not used to the gain. And I always prided myself on the fact that I always lost weight when I was pregnant. So it's kind of hard for me to accept that I'm gaining weight, especially since what I went through with the surgery and making the lifestyle change. You know, my ultimate goal really was to be down to my goal weight, having reconstructive surgery done and having a nice cute little body when I became pregnant so that you could actually tell that I was pregnant. I mean, I'm officially in my second trimester now, so that's a good thing, but I st I'm still not showing and the only time you can actually see, well, I can only, you know, feel the baby bulge when I'm laying in a certain position in bed, so you know, that kind of makes me sad because I wanted it to be a baby bump, but I know eventually it will show and people will know I'm not just gaining weight. Um, anyway, it really doesn't matter what other people think, but still it's nice to just have that thing to take pictures and show the difference as you get bigger and bigger that your baby's growing. And, you know, I don't know if you don't follow me on Facebook, um, I have actually been taken off my uh, pain medication, so I'm not taking the Oxycontin. I, it took four weeks for them to wean me off, and um, it went well, the weaning, but as soon as I went off of it, I could tell in my body, kind of went through some withdrawals, but not too bad because I went from 30 milligrams to 20 to 15 to 10, and then I did a week of the 10 just once a day instead of the twice a day that I normally did. Um, so I hurt all the time. Uh, I mainly stay at home and keep my legs up because I really am trying to take it easy because I don't want to lose another baby. And um, I pretty much kind of put myself on bed rest. I don't do a lot of exertion just because it's, you know, it'll kill me if it happens again. Um, I've also stopped taking a lot of medications that I had to take because I was on the uh, opiates, um, which is a blessing because one of them was an injection that I had to do in my stomach once a day. And well, it had to do with the, you know, constipation issue, so it was really bad when I was on the Oxycontin, and um, I know when with pregnancy, there's that issue too, but nowhere near what it was um, being on that medication, so I just take the Douglas, which is the little red pills, if you know what that is, and that's, you'll know what it is and what it does. Um, I stopped taking the laxative because the day I came off of the pills of the pain medication, I would still took that for a couple days and I'd wake up in the morning with my stomach just cramping so bad and I'd be in the bathroom all day. So I cut that out and found that that fixed it and I'm really happy that my pills have been reduced. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to be like once I'm no longer pregnant, if I have to keep taking, or if I want to go back on them or not, but, you know, there's so many things I'm limited in doing because of the pain I'm constantly in. My knees have started swelling again, and, you know, my back and my neck and my shoulders found out I have bursitis in my shoulder and pretty sure something's going on with my left hip, but I can't get it x-rayed and tough to the baby's born. You know, so I'm, you know, I think the typical middle-aged person, and I hate saying that I'm middle-aged because I totally don't feel like I'm almost 40. I mean, I've got a little over a month and I'll be 40, but, you know, women are having babies later and later in life, and like I said in my other video, I am the healthiest I've ever been, so... I just need to really, you know, tra 
drink more fluids because I'm definitely not doing that. Um, trying to, I have been cutting back on the caffeine. I still only have about half a cup of coffee on a regular basis per day. Um, but I've discovered iced tea and I can drink that like a lot of you can drink water. Um, I switched to decaf, but the doctor's office still said they want me to do water because even decaf has a, some caffeine in it and it can be a, you know, um, dehydrant, but I still pee a lot, so I'm not seeing it being an issue. But I still need to drink more because I'm not even drinking enough of that now because of what the doctor's office said, so I'm kind of detoured from it, but I don't want to drink the water, and it's just a big circle. Um, proteins, I still eat the proteins first, but I've noticed that I've been eating bigger and bigger portions, and I'm not really happy with that. Um, like I said, I eat all the time. I'm eating like every two to three hours, and I do try to eat like fruits or vegetables or yogurt, um, for the most, but for, you know, for the most part, I don't think I'm doing too bad, but my portion size is at dinner and yeah, pretty much dinner because I can eat a whole bagel now and I can eat my piece of chicken and a salad and a potato, a small baked potato, you know, things like that. It's just increasingly more and more. And if it's on my plate, I'll eat it. I'll, even if I'm full, I'll force myself to eat it. And I know that's not good. And I've got to get out of these bad habits. But then again, I don't want to deprive my body of the calories that it needs to be able to grow this little baby to the best of its need. And, um, I appreciate all my subscribers, even the new, I've been getting new ones. I get an email all the time telling me I've got new subscribers and I don't want to disappoint you. The fact that I haven't put a video up in so long, um, but like I said, things were really hectic, but now that there's more quiet time in the house, I'll be able to do more videos and keep you informed and, you know, maybe eventually I'll show a body shot because it's not going to be the body shot of your typical weight loss surgery patient. I'm going to be getting bigger and um, until it actually looks like a baby instead of just, you know, bubbled flab, um, I think I'll just keep it under the desk. And until then, you know, just keep watching and I'll keep posting and I will get back on track. I just, I'm not allowed to diet right now and I do consider it dieting. You know, it's a lifestyle change, yes, but you, you still have to keep your calories under control, you know, under a certain amount when you're a weight loss surgery patient and, you know, um, I don't know how healthy it would be for me to keep, you know, lose weight at the point I'm at. I mean, I still am about 100 pounds overweight. Well, let's say 110 now since I've gained what I've gained. So, um, don't give up on me. I'm not going to give up on the community and I'm not going to give up on my weight loss journey because it meant a lot to me to get this done and I don't want it to all be for nothing. So... I will possibly get back with a new video sooner in the week because I normally either do them on Mondays or Wednesdays, and here it is Friday. So, um, I'll see you next week.